And now for the winner of the 24th Annual 2011 Concrete Canoe Competition, and the winner of a $5,000 scholarship. They're really fast, but some call them slow. California I'm here in Audubon State Park in Henderson, Kentucky, where the University of Evansville is hosting the American Society of Civil Engineers National Concrete Canoe Competition. Twenty-three schools from across the nation and other countries have competed in various regional competitions to earn the right to fight for the national title in the waters behind me. Twenty-four years ago it first started as a way to introduce concrete to students uh, in engineering schools. From there it's kind of grown into a, a big project you know, for engineering schools to compete uh, nationwide. This competition was slated for June 16th through the 18th. On Thursday we held a product display day out in the sesquicentennial Oval at the University of Evansville. On Friday we had uh, formal business presentations which each team give on their canoe um, to cover the entire year or go over their entire project. Uh, Thursday was all day on campus just showing off our canoe, letting the judges, letting the other schools come around see what everyone else had to offer. It's really fun just wandering around and seeing all the things that people have done and I've gotten a lot of ideas for next year. We all have the same hull design, but all the canoes look really different. It takes a lot more work than a lot of people think. I mean, it took about 1,900 man hours uh, this year with only about 10 people working. We spent 1,400 man hours making the canoe. It takes a lot of work to not only research mix, but do the analysis. Um, and then obviously the construction. It took us a full Saturday with uh, about 16 people to lay the entire canoe. We are all very strong on the paddling. We are training seriously all, every day. Today we're here at Audubon State Park and we're trying to get the races started. It's looked at us, hey, that's the fun event. That's where you get to really shine. These students train for over a year, putting paddlers in the water. Some of these schools from up north uh, in, the, in the dead of winter are outside trying to practice their paddling techniques and things like that. Pretty much everyone here is the best of the best, so uh, we're really proud of everyone here. Every year I'm just, just blown away and amazed by the caliber and the, and the quality of the canoes. You put a group of engineers together to see what they come up with, uh, and it's, it's really impressive. They can, they can amaze you with uh, you know, just their creativity and, and things like that. 